Hello everyone, my name is Kristen Bryant and today I wanted to show you a card that I made using our awesome Otter stamp set. We only have a little over a week and a half left um, to use uh, or to be able to get this free with a $50 order. Um, this is the card that I made and I used um, one of the dies from Picture This. And this is shown in um, the celebration brochure and I thought, you know what, when I get it, I wanna use that. I've never actually used this die set before and so it was kind of the perfect opportunity because um, the, the otters look so cute in there. So I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you can see the project. So in our celebration brochure, um, it shows on this page together our um, Simply Marvelous 6x6 designer series paper and then the awesome otters and I'm using both of these items that are free with a $50 order through the end of February and this card right here uses the picture this dies and I had uh, purchased it a while ago and I have never actually opened it out of the package and so I did that yesterday and it's really fun uh, to work with. I'm going to show you the two options. Um, so you do get this one and I like how it has the little stitched stitching on there and then um, it also has that in sticking where you took off the other one um, it also has three rectangles so uh, you know most likely it's it's usually shown in this orientation but you could do it either way so um, and this also has the stitching on there too which is uh, really fun I'm gonna set this aside and I thought it would be fun to use our bark um, embossing folder to kind of be like waves. Um, and I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway with um, this bark embossing folder. Um, I'll tell you about that at the end, but I accidentally ordered a second one, so I don't need it. So um, I used, um, uh, I ran it through the um, cut and emboss machine. And so you can see how you get all these little circles and you can save those. And these are also stitched. Do you see how there's a little stitching around the whole the whole thing as well? So I first ran this through um, to get the embossed look. And I mean, it is for bark, which it looks, you can tell it looks for bark, but I think it looks kind of fun for water um, as well. And then here I did it um, to get the white pieces. Um, and crafters, you know, we always like to save this, so I'm sure that that'll be used at some point um, on a different project. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to stamp on them. So I'm first going to use my memento and I'm going to put this right in the middle and I'm going to color it in using my Stampin' Blends. And what I am using, which you're gonna think is kind of funny, but the petal pink, I'm gonna do on the, I wanted just a real light color on the inside and it's super light. And then I'm using the dark crumb cake for the other part uh, or the outside of them for the nose and then I'm going to use the um, light of the balmy blue for the water so it's just kind of a real light look there so here we've got this little guy so i um i'm just stamping on the pieces that came on here now i already did this other one so you don't have to sit and watch me do them all and then for the Where's my original card here? There we go. Um, for this part, I took some of the simple 
simply marvelous paper and I just cut little strips. And so um, we're just gonna cover in these little areas. So I'm just gonna do little squares. And so I'm going to, you can just do some of the um, little, little green, I call this green glue. Um, you could use any type of adhesive. I'll just do the corners. So you'll see, oops, got, got too much. So there you see that. And I'll put them each in a kind of a different area. So I'm filling the small circles. You just need a tiny bit of the glue. You could use any type of adhesive. And I'm just gonna kind of set that on there. Just press so I don't, whoops, it's sticking to the paper. All right, there we go. And then the final one. So here are the three pieces um, of the Simply Marvelous, and I used the more blue one. There's also one that I think looks great with Buena Bay and Coastal Cabana, um, but this, I used the darker one. And so I'm going to put this on my card like this, and I have a piece of, um, this is the thick Whisper White cardstock. I like to use the thick extra, um, the thick um, white cardstock when I'm using it as a card base like I am here. It's just a little bit thicker, more of the consistency of our regular cardstock. And so I'm going to um, put some adhesive. Why is this going? On uh, each of the corners. And I'm going to set this here. And I'm doing it so that um, there's one of these in the corner rather than um, having this in the corner because I want the greeting to be in this corner. So I'm now going to take the other circle and I'm going to put you are utterly awesome on there. And you could use this greeting for birthday, um, graduation, really anything. Anytime you want to tell someone they are utterly awesome. And so I am going to then pop that up with a dimensional. It's always better to have things popped up, I think. Especially greetings, it's kind of fun to... So there's that. And then I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of these. Um, a little bit on each one. So you see how they just fit in there perfectly because they are the exact circle that I I just used, cut it out in white and cut it out in the balmy blue. So uh, this is the finished card. And you can see it's a quick and easy card to do. And you could fill these in with different designer series papers, or you could do all different stamped images. You could just do several greetings in there too. So um, if you want to um, get in a drawing to get this um, bark embossing folder, um, you can, Leave a comment on either my blog post or on my YouTube page. Um, leave a comment on this card, and then I'm going to have a drawing on the 29th or 28th, <laughs> um, the 28th of this month. And then I will um, send this out to whoever, wh whoever name I draw. So it's kind of a fun way just to get a free um, em embossing folder, and then I can get rid of an extra one that I have here. I've had it for quite some time, and I thought I'm just going to give that away. So again, celebration um, ends on the 28th. And so that's kind of why I put the, the deadline of the 28th. And so you um, just need to get your orders in by February 28th and then leave a comment by the 28th if you want to get in a drawing um, for the um, Stampin' Cut and Boss folder bark. So I hope you are having fun and getting time to create. Thanks.